from the Keith Vincent Caleb studio in Paris, New Jersey, Green Hour Media proudly presents Is This Real? On tonight's episode, numerology, what is it? And now your host, JC3. Hey there, fellow truth seekers. Are you ready to dive deep into the mysteries of the universe? Look no further than IsIsRealPC.com, your one-stop destination for all things mysterious and unexplained. From captivating podcast episodes to thought-provoking articles, our website is packed with fascinating content that will leave you questioning reality. Visit IsIsRealPC.com today and join our community of curious minds as we explore the unknown together. Don't just wonder. Discover the truth today at IsIsRealPC.com. Welcome, 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 everybody, to another fantastic episode of Is This Real? Is This Real? Tonight's episode, you heard Pope uh, Disgraceful the first say, we are talking about numerology in the booth tonight. I have Pope Disgraceful himself. Pope Tony the First. I'm the Pope. Pope Disgraceful fits you more, though. I'm not disgraced, though. We have Mr. West in the building. Okombawa. We have Maria in the building. She can She does not. She's not a mic. We have uh, Roblox in the back. She's we don't high. have. We don't have Big Joe with us this week. Uh, yeah, this week. Uh, so numerology, lady. He's and too busy doing things to my mom. Dead air, dead air, dead air, dead air. No, we're alive. On screen? Can we do it on screen? Please don't Muay Thai me. Please? Okay. So what are you talking about, Joey? Numerology. Uh, What what do you know about numerology? I know that uh, a lot of people put faith in numbers because that seems like something that makes sense to certain people. It doesn't make sense to me. Although I do do know that, and maybe this falls under numerology, but I know that Nikola Tesla was very... Keen on the numbers three, six, and nine. He said, "If you understand three, six, and nine, you can unlock keys to the universe." Ooh. I don't know what the fuck he meant by that. No one does because he died. But you know, I know it's it's a it's a study or a practice where you think numbers can predict the future or can weigh on your life in some way, shape, or form. Like the number thirty three is a big one. Number seven, number thirteen, all of these numbers have value outside of just being an amount. All right, West. Uh, numerology. I thought it was just like some new age shit, just like that zodiac shit. So you're speaking to the intellectuals. He's speaking to the high people. I love it. They're all the same. Uh, Rody. I have no idea numerology. And he to don't me. know shit. Well, no, it's really like new to me because I didn't know there was actually something dedicated to numbers. Like, I've seen things before in the past of people saying, oh, well, you know, you do this with the numbers, it equals seven. And you do this, and it also equals seven. Seven That's just is math. a number. Yeah, I know. It's it's weird. So, like, I never looked into it, and it never really intrigued me. So, right. you know, there's that. Well, here's this, right? I have the it's definition like, right it's here. It's like angel numbers and shit like that, right? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get to those. But numerology is a study of the mystical significance of numbers and their influence on human life. Each number carries its own unique energy and vibration, which can offer insights into personality traits, life paths, and even future events. How do practitioners in numerology interpret these numbers to uncover hidden truths? Numerologists use uh, various techniques, such such as calculating a person's life path number or analyzing the numerical I'm I'm stumbling over myself because I feel a burning in my face right now uh, or analyzing the numerical values of names and dates to reveal wait, their wait, wait, insights. You might have to you won't, wait, 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 you might have to take a pause real quick. What the fuck was a life, a life number, a, li- a path? No, what the fuck was that? Analyzing the numerical values of names and dates and their path, a person's life path number, life path number. Now, can, can, what is a life path number? So it also it reveals insights into their character, destiny, and their relationship. See, that's that zodiac shit, bro. No, that is astrology. That's what that is. Isn't that like the yeah, day you were born? Yeah, but it, but it sounds it sound like the same thing, but with numbers. 
Yeah, like it's isn't that smarter, the day you were like born numbers. and that number, you know, correlates to something? Your life path number represents who you are at your core. The person you are spending this lifetime learning to become. It is derived from the numbers of your birthday and influences your entire life. Somehow. See? Called it. Your birthday. See, let's do Anthony. I'll, I'll put in his life I was path. actually doing it right now. Oh, you want to do it? Yeah. I thought it would be more fun if I did it. No, no, no. I'm so so he's going to put his life, his, his birth Reveal date Reveal my life path. My life path number is six. See, they, it was quick calculations. They knew immediately. And they you add two more sixes, and he's the fucking devil. <laughs> People born with a life path six embrace their emotions and lead with their heart. They give off a warm and inviting energy that others want to be around. They enjoy many rich relationships throughout their life, both romantic and friendly. Whether these life path people encounter someone who is just like them or someone who's completely different, they will treat them the same with kindness, respect, and support. Some people only see black and white, but the number six can see and accept the infinite shades of gray in between. Sure, it's very vague, but that's kind of hits me on the point. I'm not very black and white about anything. I think everything is should be rated on a scale or a gradient yeah, or I a spectrum. Hit you for all that. Your life path number is three. Okay. Charming, romantic, and full of creative energy. People who are born with a three life path number know how to embrace life. I they tend to see so. the world through rose-colored lenses where everything looks like an opportunity and the chances for expression and enjoyment are endless. Yeah. The They have a tendency to be skilled communicators and have a knack for coming up with and sharing brilliant ideas. The Life Path 3 makes an excellent journalist, blogger, social media influencer, or arth- uh, author. I'm about to start writing books. So that is your both of your Life Path numbers. And I am balanced. Truly balanced. I'm about You're to be the balanced. next Aleister Crowley. No. No. Yes. Please Give don't. me your money. Please do not do I that. need your money because no. listen, 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 listen. The world's going to shit right now. True. Clearly, clearly, they don't need their money because why Why do they need it? If it's going to shit, like, you might as well just give it all to me and I will live my life through your money. That's fair. My life path number is one. Okay. People born with the life path number one are, are on a lifelong mission to exert their independence and step into their personal power. So you're underdeveloped. They carry a natural air of authority as a leader who likes to be the first to try something new. Mm-hmm. A strong desire for menace, uh, manifestations keeps them going and improving. Uh-huh. People with the num- uh, numerology life path number one are born to act quickly and have no problem changing course and starting down a new path. He thinks without he jumps without thinking. A secret fear of failure makes them uh, ultra-driven in every endeavor they pursue and will often make them vi- uh, victorious. As soon as one finishes, uh, as soon as one finish line is reached, they are already running towards another one. You don't run. Fuck you. You don't run either. I walk. You waddle. You waddle. That's fair. Gotta start somewhere. So that is our life path numbers. Do you want to do Josh's? Sure. Yes, please. I want to see what kind of fucking chaotic fire that one is. Yeah, so... uh, 31, correct? No, 30th. 30, 30, 30. That's your best fucking friend. It's at the end of the month. I always forget if it was the last month or the last day or the one before it. Dude, I had to write down in your in, in my notes what your birthday is. Josh is also years. a number one. Isn't it the 16th? Yeah. Okay, so at least I remember now. Oh, you're also a number one, Joshua. So here's the thing. So this is how you calculate it. For so those then, of so you who want to So then she would be a number six too, right? Same birthday? Uh, Maybe. Let's see. April 9th. Yeah, yeah, I got that. 95, right? 96. A year later. She might be. No, it's 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 the year that... It, well, I'll tell you how to do this in a second. 96, right? You're a number two. Mm-hmm. People blessed with uh, number twos are blessed with beautiful hearts that they use to bring beautiful relationships into their lives. From romantic and business partnerships to family and friendship, these bonds are the most valuable thing to a person who has a number two. 
They thrive in being part of a team and will do everything in their power to make it a happy, easy, and successful union. They are all, they are incredibly giving and do well at creating long-lasting connections with others. So we have so a lot ones, more to it too. twos, sixes. So we that's got, everything so, in the booth. So we literally got, so we got one, two, three. Yeah, you're a three, and I'm six, a six. Well, uh, one? No, he's a one. Yeah. So both ones. Uh huh. Two, two, three, three six. six. Yeah. That's, okay. So here's how you do it. You take your. We'll do it from mine, right? April twelfth, nineteen eighty-eight. You take your. Uh, it'd be oh four one two one nine eight eight. Zero plus four gives you a four. One plus two, break down the twelve. One plus two gives you a three. So I have a four and a three, and then I have a one nine eight eight, which is twenty seven. Sixteen. Four, five, twenty-six. Twenty-six. And then you go two six gives you a four. Two plus six equals four. I'm oh, sorry. Two plus six equals eight. So I have a four, a three, and an eight. So that's seven, eight, that's fifteen. You have the one and the five left over uh, of the fifteen. You add those together, it gives you six. So it's just math. It's just you add up all the individuals and then you add them together. Like it's you, just like pemdos, bro. It's stupid shit, is what it is. Everything to you is stupid. None of this makes sense. No, 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 no. Okay, wait, wait. wait. Well, so, it does so, make sense. Wait, wait. So here's my so here's my question, like genuine question. When when did this thing start popping off? Like when did people start like fucking with this? Like is it always been like since like the ancient times or like what like? Yeah, because I, I know, like, because I know, like, this actually like rung a bell, like, uh, uh, biblically speaking, like, people that follow Abrahamic uh, religion as far as like Christianity, like, they think that the number seven is something like really holy, like type shit, because you know, like, God made the world in seven days, type shit. There's always been like seven something, seven something. It's like it's, it's been repeated in the Bible a few times, from my understanding, and it's supposed to be like a really like holy sacred number. Yeah, just like thirteen is unlucky. There's also master numbers. There's oh, master fuck numbers. Me. Yeah, there's master numbers. What is to a it. okay? What is a master number? Wait, so, wait, wait, wait. I th- uh, like eleven, twenty twos, and like the eleven thir- and twenty two. Uh, uh, the master numbers. If uh, the only time you would not reduce the final number is if you attain eleven or twenty two. These are considered master numbers and can uh, connote a more intensified version of their root number two and four respectively. Master numbers suggest a powerful vibrational energy. That is associated with learning, achievement, and success. So it don't go higher than 22? It just, it, it just don't go like 33, 44, and stuff like but that? But likely in a more stressful or higher stakes context. For instance, Sir Paul McCartney was born on June 18th, 1942. When this date is reduced, the sum is 22. Rather than simplify this to a single digit, yielding a 4, the number 22 reflects the, reflects the master number the higher octane iteration of four, revealing Paul McCartney's strong life mission. But that doesn't, but there's like, there's like inconsistencies with that. Why does it only apply to those double digit numbers? I don't know. And also I'm sure there is some asshole who beats his wife and like has been like, he beats his kids, cheats on his wife, has sex with his pet goat. Like there are, and he, hey, I guarantee saw, you, we, we actually saw some goats today. That's nice. I guarantee you, he was born the same day as McCartney, no so he's McCartney. a number twenty-two. What's his life mission? To fuck all the sheep in the field? I don't know, but I'm scared of you. I think this is horse shit. Well, let's just put it like this. Uh, you could also. They actually do make that sound too. You they could do. also use numerology to <laughs> derive the root number of names or words. This is where our ancient buddy uh, Pythagoras off, uh, offers the, some guidance. The Pythagorean theorem? Yes. yes. Theory? According to his theories, theorem. certain letters have specific numbers, uh, numeric values, which are the following. One is A, J, and S. Two is B, K, and T. Three, C, L, and U. Four, D, M, and V. Five, E, N, and W. Six, E, F, O, and X. 7, G, P, and Y. 8, H, Q, and Z. And 9, I, and R. <sighs> Using this technique is easy to find... Me. Is easy to find the root number associated with names, which numerologists refer to you as your destiny number. Oh, fuck off. Uh, wait, I have a no. life number. I have a destiny number. I have a Gisugas number. 
Wait. He's Stugat's number. Doug, he's Stugat's number. So, so, you just so. spoke some Italian. Yeah, hey, you. Ah, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh, What'd you call my mother? <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, you have destiny numbers, you have master numbers. And you have a life path. You have a life path number. Okay, so. <sighs> Fuck, let me find my destiny number. Where? So, okay, so now where does the where do these angel numbers that I've heard about come in? Because I've heard of because I've heard of angel numbers. Those are uh, those are a different sort of numerology uh, numerological numbers. Like let's do. This is fun to actually find out. So, so you would have to add up. So let's do my name. Uh, so J is one, O is six. So that's seven. S is one again. So that's eight. I have a calculator here. I can just tell you. E is five. So that's thirteen. P is 7, so that's 20. And H is 8, so that's 28. My new uh, destiny number is 28. Incorrect. Your destiny number is 2. Because your middle name is still it counts 2. It's your full birth name. And then when you add it all out, it comes to 2. 2s right. are level-headed, calm, and born diplomats. They are intrinsically persuasive, and you use your powers for good. You are the voice of calm in any situation with difficulty with hard people. That is bullshit. That's true. That is bullshit. I'm level headed. So, so how do you do this destiny number? So you have to take the every letter of your name and, and every it has a numerical e value. So every letter has a numerical value. Yes. Yeah, here's mine. This is the number four. Those with destiny number four tend to be rigid and happy set in their ways. Yes. You prefer the company of yourself and pets. Yes. You also value efficiency, honesty, and reliability. Yes. You make lists, you're on top of things, and you can improve any system laid out before you. That's not true. Any employee would be lucky enough to have you, and you excel in a managerial role, and your cock hangs That's the, not part of past it. your knees. That's not part of it, but okay. Definitely wasn't part of it. I didn't... Yeah, you like to be alone with your fucking cats. So that's I enjoy true. The solace. But there's a lot of people like to just hang out by themselves. They're lonely. It's not lonely. I have my cats. And they're fucking sad. Go on, Eric. Put your name in there. Full so, name. First, so, middle, and last. Why do you do my last name? Well, you got to. And I did your last name. And that's what came up with your number. Wait. But, but like, unofficially, I don't, like, I don't have, like, I'm a junior. I'm a junior, but I don't, like, I don't have that in my, in my name. So does that count? No. Well, I'm the third. What's ever on I mean. your birth certificate? Yeah, you're a third. You're a third. I'm a third. But, like, there's nothing, that, like, there's, I can't put in the third because the third's not part of your name. True. That's actually kind of that's actually kind of crazy. It says, my, it says my destiny number is three. So, as a number three, you're totally optimistic. You're a joy to be around with your bright, cheerful enthusiasm. You're an incredible companion to any platonic or romantic partner, which is good because you'll need support in your life. Wow. Way to call my shit out there. Yeah. <laughs> you, so you need to succeed. Your your need to succeed may let you down at times. So you'll need that comfort. That's true. Wow. That's true. No, so, but, that, but that's actually very interesting. So now like diving into this numerology shit. So is there a significant meaning behind my life path number being a three and my destiny number being a three? We'll get to that in the second segment. Good and segue. Let, and let me, uh, Josh, you ready for yours? Sure, hit me. People with the, yours is the shortest. Ready? Yours is number seven. Ooh. People with number seven are logical, expressive, original, and wise. They make you a natural educator, but be careful. You tend to be arrogant and intolerant, so try not to let it show as you share your wisdom. You cocksucker. Oh, Roblox on. Please don't have too much to drink. <laughs> it's accurate. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> well. Now that you know all of our numbers, please go and oh, find know. yours. Not that we fucking believe it. I don't know Maria's number. You want to do your number? You want to do your number? Put in Maria. First, Let's... middle, and last. Oh, you have a long name. <laughs> you have a long name. Do you want to come back to that? We'll go to break and we'll come back and do hers. Yeah, yeah, let's right. do that. We're gonna be right back uh, when find it. Come back and find out what Maria's uh, life path number is, or whatever. Um, we will be right back. Please go listen to some of our sponsors. Are 
Are you a filmmaker, cosplayer, or special effects enthusiast looking to take your creations to the next level? Then look no further than New Rule FX. From realistic props to professional grade special effects equipment, New Rule FX has everything you need to bring your vision to life. Explore their extensive catalog of high quality products and unleash your creativity like never before. Visit our link in the description to shop now below. Hey everybody, I'm JC3. And I'm Mr. West. And, and this, this episode is brought to you by Dubby. Dubby. Made by professionals in the USA, Dubby was formulated to give you focus and energy with no jitters or crash. No jitters. Their formula contains vitamins, amino acids, including the patented Neurofactor. Neurofactor. You know what Dubby doesn't give you? What is that? No calories, no, calories. No, sugars, no sugars, no fillers, no fillers. and no artificial flavors. <laughs> when the raw ingredients arrive to their FDA registered and inspected facility that strictly adheres to GMP guidelines, they undergo a quarantine while a small sample of each ingredient is taken to test for any impurities, while also being tested to ensure that the ingredients are actually what they are supposed to be and have the proper dosage. And once the ingredients pass all the tests, then they're cleared to get mixed into the formula. So head on over to w.gg and use our offer code ISTHISREALPC for 10% off your first order. That's D-U-B-B-Y dot G-G and use the code ISTHISREALPC for 10% off. They have great flavors such as Galaxy Grenade, Dub Sludge, Pass and Joy Tea, Monkey Madness, and Dragonade. My personal favorite is Dragonade. Dragonade right here. I got Dragonade right here. Delicious. Okay. Drink Dubby and be better. These products are not intended to diagnose, cure, or prevent any disease. Who wants better sex? And who wants better sex starting now? The best way to get started is go to adamandeve.com. Adam and Eve is offering 50% off just any item. But that's not all. When you select your one item, you will also get three bonus items. That includes a gift for him, a special gift for her, and a gift you'll both like. Plus six free movies. For your viewing pleasure and free shipping. There is discreet shipping as your privacy is priority. Plus 100% free shipping on your entire order. Doesn't matter how much you spend or what you buy. It will all be packaged and sent discreetly for free. Don't wait. Better Sex is just one click away. That's 50% off one item, three free gifts, six free movies, and free shipping. Bring more pleasure and satisfaction to your bedroom. Just go to adamandeve.com and select any one item. It could be an adventurous new toy or anything you desire. Just enter code QUESTION at checkout. That's QUESTION, Q-U-E-S-T-I-O-N at adamandeve.com. This exclusive offer is specific to this podcast only. So be sure at checkout you punch in the code QUESTION. That is Q-U-E-S-T-I-O-N at checkout and get your 50% off one item, 10 free gifts, and free shipping. Remember, use code QUESTION. Also remember to listen to Is This Real every Sunday at 8 o'clock with new episodes starting July 16th. Remember everybody, question everything and put that question at the end of your checkout. AdamandEve.com <laughs> And welcome back to Is This Real? Uh, as we continue our numerology episode, we ended the last segment. We're trying to get Maria's, uh, was it life path number or Her, is it? The destiny number. Destiny bush. number. We get. We got it? Uh, you want to read it on air? Now it's something different. Now it's, th you know why? It's internet. It's, it's probably bullshit. It's, it's probably some bullshit. So... Before off air, her the number was like nine, like her birthday. I don't know what the now it's there. not. Now her destiny number is thirty three. Thirty three. As a thirty, as a number thirty three, you're generous, maternal and caring. You're also intuitive and per perceptive. You do you do well in a carer role, but you need a creative outlet too for your own well being. No, are you creative? She's very creative. She says she's creative. We can't hear her, but she said she's creative. Damn right. All right. So besides uh, that, numerology also suggests that numbers are more than symbols. 
They're more than meets uh, the eye. Yeah, uh, they're powerful forces that shape our lives in profound ways. But how do these numbers influence us on a practical level? Uh, on a practical level, the influence of numbers in numerology can be understood in several ways, personality and traits. Numerology ex- uh, suggests that each person has a life path derived from their birth dates, uh, which reflects their innate personality traits, strengths, and challenges. For example, individuals life path number one uh, are often seen as independent, assertive, and ambitious. Uh, people with life path number seven are int- uh, introspective, analytical, and spiritual. Understanding these numerology, uh, numerological numbers uh, influences can provide valuable insights into one's character and behavior and guiding decision-making processes and self-awareness. So How, though? Yeah, but no, like, this all just kind of sounds like astrology stuff. So this kind of, did this stem, did this stem off astrology? Like, I'm, I'm still curious, like, where, where the fuck did this shit come from? Like, is this some new age shit? Like, you know what I mean? I, I do know what you mean. I do not have those in my notes right now. Okay, we'll get to it. We'll, we will definitely get to it. We'll get to it. Uh, number two, uh, life events and timing. Numerology also ex- uh, examines the significance of numbers in relation to timing and life events. Certain numbers may be considered... Uh, auspi- uh, what? Huh? No, that's not what I mean. Auschwitzable? No. S- uh, auspicious? Auspicious. Auspicious. That came out wrong. That came out wrong. Very. Very. <laughs> Some <laughs> numbers We're sorry. can be considered auspicious or challenging based on their vibrational energies and associations. Uh, I don't, wow. I don't understand. They vibrate. For instance. E- everything vibrates. Individuals may consult numerological charts or calculations to select auspicious dates for weddings, business lunches, launches, or major life transitions. I would do it for business lunch. So, the, so, so business lunch. So these motherfuckers would have a field day in the fucking stock market. Mm-hmm. Yeah, By aligning with favorable num- uh, numerical influences, individuals may seek to optimize outcomes and enhance the likelihood of success or positive experiences. Yeah, so if someone's like, oh, let's get married the 15th of the month, we can't do that. The... S- can't get married on the fifteenth of the because month, of, like because it's one in five, and yeah, that makes six. Five, yeah, that and could. Because six is my anti number. Uh, yep. I'm going. I'm Mercury's in Gatorade. We don't understand. Like it just can't not the do. moon not, is going to implode. Uh, yeah. Number three, as we just did with our names, name numerology. Another aspect of numerology involves analyzing the numerical values of names and their influence on individuals' lives. Oh, so these are like the branches of numerology. Mm-hmm. Each letter of the alphabet corresponds to a specific number. And by uh, assigning numerical values to names, numerologists can derive additional insights into personality traits, career paths, and relationships. For example, challenge, uh, changing one's name or adopting a different spelling based on numer- uh, numerological uh, considerations may be believed to alter one's destiny or bring about positive changes in life circumstances. Fucking how though? It's just there, man. No, it's not just there. Would this, would this, How the fuck does a name impact my destiny? Would this be by the numbers? Would this be considered a pseudoscience, or like, or or would it be? Consi- oh, it's definitely a yeah, fucking it's, pseudoscience. It's a pseudoscience. In our, my opinion, the earliest records of numerology is from what I just read about. It was dated back to the ancient Egyptians. Oh wow! And I think Babylonians. It said, "Yeah, Babylonian civilizations." Wow. So okay. So it. So it's it, it's, it's like right. It's like hand in hand with with astrology type shit. And then you have relationship dynamics. Numerology also explores the compa- compatibility and dynamics between individuals based on their life path numbers, destiny numbers, and other numer- uh, numerological uh, numerical factors. By comparing and analyzing the numerical components of two or more people's charts, numerologists can assess the potential for harmony, communication, and mutual understanding in relationships. Understanding these numerical influences can uh, facilitate deeper connections, improve communication, and navigate challenges more effectively in personal and professional relationships. Again, how? It doesn't make any sense. Like, okay, you can't pick your birthday. Your mom can kind of pick your birthday. She's like, you know, if she's like going to have a C-section. More like 
around the time frame of yeah, exactly. They She's can, like they can plan they want to get pregnant around this time to then so they they, they want to pop you out like exactly let's say like you have shit. no you have no say on your birthday. Here's here's what it is. <sighs> While numerology can offer valuable guidance and self reflection, remember I'm reading this from. Right, these aren't your words. Yeah, these aren't my words. It's essential to approach it with an open mind and a healthy do- dose of skepticism. Fuck that. <laughs> like any form of d- d- deviation, numer- uh, numerology should be used as a tool for divination. Pers- there you go. Numerology should be used as a tool for personal growth and understanding, rather than as a definitive predictor of the future. So it doesn't mean anything, and it has no fucking value. Unless you're looking at it by yourself and yeah. then you're going to bullshit yourself into thinking that these things matter and then you're going to do things according to these numbers that you don't have to do. Not only that, but then you'll just start like, I feel like, wasn't there a movie about this with Jim Carrey? The number 23. Was it really about numerology though? No, it's just like the number 23 apparently is, it comes up in a lot of different things. People diet that it, same thing with 27. You have the 27 club. Mm-hmm. Numbers are just the amount of things. You think numerology inspired that movie, though? Might have had something oh, no, to do with see, it. See, I think there's a difference between numerology and then we're talking about, like, lucky or unlucky numbers. No, the same I, shit. No, I think there's a difference. Because they're, and this, they're not talking. Like, numerology is adding up, using those, and... Well, say, unlucky numbers would fall into the superstitious aspect of what yeah. we're talking about. Yeah. I, I think that's what it is. I think when you, when you talk about 13, I think when you talk about the angelic numbers when you talk about something like the 27 club or, or anything like those so, I, so so angelic numbers has nothing to do with any of this I, stuff i don't think so there's nothing in that i've read where angelic numbers i that's more religious based or anything like that like i i think angelic numbers like four 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 or something like that yeah they're like those triple numbers like one yeah. one one two 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 so three, i don't two, think three. it has like this is a, 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 a pseudoscience that if you apply it like this is what here's a number here's a definition of that number if you apply that number to your daily life, you'll live a good life. You know, that that's that's what I think it, this is supposed to be. It's basically a bunch of people a long time ago went, I wonder what my name adds up to. And then decided to say... Pythagoras. And then decided to go, okay, I'm a five. Here's what I think a five really Dude, is. you're like a four. I'm a negative two. <laughs> Did they have negative numbers? Who the fuck knows? This is stupid shit. You know, you're very, very, like, anti-everything we talk about most of the time. Pessimistic. Uh, okay, so I no, kind of found I'm out what angel, angel numbers are. realist. I look around me and I see the world No, as... you're a pessimist. Yes, but I'm a realist. I look around and I see the world mm. as it stands. And I go, okay, these things happen. These things don't happen. You have a gray area in between. But when it comes to stuff like this, where you're basing a pseudoscience and you're trying to you're trying to draw some sort of insight on the world through that pseudoscience it pisses me off because it's happenstance that your name equals to that number it's an accident that you're born on that particular day well, and if, I mean, if, if i wasn't born on on april 12th and i was actually born on the, the 11th then maybe my life would be different Fucking how you're still born in the same family. You're still given the same set of circumstances on the economic level, on the education level. Nothing else changes except the day you were born. But somehow that one day is going to change something with your personality and your life path. Blow me. That's not the way it works. Well, no, thank you. I also think you could sit there and it's, it's the same thing when people turn around and be like, well, there's different universes out there like. In this universe, you know the butterfly effect. If this did, if this doesn't happen, then my life would be different. And then that my life universe, be like, like really, like, like yeah, the li- fun life is pretend. life is made of choices, and you know you you always have two paths in front of you to sit there and choose what choice you're gonna do, and the path you choose is the life you fucking live. Like exactly, I I, I look. I'm not sitting here saying I believe in any of this shit because I don't. But I'm not going to sit there. If people want to believe in it, it's just like what last week with with uh, um, superstitions. Uh, uh, no, uh, uh, what the fuck? Do we, alchemy. Oh, like when, when we talked about alchemy, I'm sitting there like, if you want to believe, if that makes you feel better, dude, 
go ahead. Like, if you believe that you have to stick to something to, to be a better person, to feel better about yourself, go ahead and do it. Like, it, it's it's different. You know what it is? It's like religion. Keep it to yourself and make yourself happy. Don't force it upon anybody else. But then you have a problem with people who believe in this sort of shit, and they try to become experts and try to help other people with it, and they cross that line of keeping it to yourself versus I'm going to help others with this. No, 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 no. This is a pseudoscience. This stuff doesn't matter. It doesn't exist. Well, to it's you. Not, it, it's not real, though. To you. No, no, no. Fuck to, to real to me or not to me. No. Explain they, how it works. They, they do, and they did. No, they didn't. They said if you add up your name, you, here's if you add up your name, you get this number, and this number is going to get determined this amount of the, How do you determine that? And why is it always all this positive shit? Ones, fives, and sevens are all positive. Well, I, I agree with you. They should be negative. Like, if you added your number up and said, why are you using a phone? You should be behind bars. That's what yours should have came up no, with. No, 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 but I'm being serious. Like, every it's a flag. Every <laughs> single possible... Just a red flag. Every single possible outcome is just vague enough for you to go, yeah, I can see that being about me. That makes sense. You How do like they- to sit alone with your cats. That's not vague. How come there isn't any of them that's like, oh, I'm a number two. I'm... Uh, I will get cancer of the bowels by the time I'm 40. It's like, or like, I'm going to have problem a problem lo- is the vagueness. He does not like vague things. Then, okay. Explain to me people who are like, we have thousands and thousands of people behind bars in this country around the world. You have convicts who have killed people, have raped people, have done terrible things, but they're really energetic and charismatic and they're a natural leader because their life number was a six. Well, they led Fuck in off. those criminal processes. Am I wrong? He's the most energetic rapist. He just wouldn't know when to stop. That's why he's in. That's, that's why he's behind jail. <laughs> no, I don't like, want to hear that shit. These are vague terms. No, I, 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 I agree. I, I agree understand what he's I, saying. I, I, agree, but I agree with see, it my, well. my it's, same, goes, it's the same thing with this with the, with the whole astrology thing. But it's, that's it's all the thing. Vague, it's all, bunch of it's shit. Oh, we'll talk about that later in the season. It's all vague. It's all vague shit. It's all just. I as understand far as the numerology aspect of it. It's yeah. I understand I don't, all that. I don't, where's the yeah? Where, there's a good point. Where's the where's the negative parts of these of these numbers? Like what's what's there's this not there's always a balance to things. If there's if twos are all about balance, where the fuck is my negative aspects? Some people don't like to shine the light on the negative. The truth. Fuck hurts. that! I want to know the negatives too. I want to know the negatives. I'm he's gonna, gonna be positive, up. but he's gonna get hit by a bus. When I he's found 30. out what angel numbers are, by the way. Do you want to explain before we go to break? So apparently, in numerology, angel numbers are just. This, the numbers that your fucking spirit guardian angels use in order to communicate with you. Uh, there's like they go from like one 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 all the way up to like nine nine nine. Then there's ten ten. Uh, it's interesting. Yeah. Um, another one was eleven eleven eleven. Yeah, eleven eleven. Then you have one two three four and two two two. That's very interesting. Yeah. So there are no and each and each one of them like has a has a reason behind of why you're seeing that according to numerology that these that your uh, guardian angel or whatever is trying to communicate with you through these numbers and if you see like let's say like three 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 then like three 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 is supposed to be like okay you're gonna cross the road today and, my, and meet a chicken I don't know is that why you cross the road to meet the chicken it's supposed to come to you. But you know, you there know, are, you know what I mean, though. There are no negative numbers in this shit. The numerology. It's not like, oh, I'm a negative seven. Like, what does that mean? There, it doesn't go into the negatives. There is a positive and negative aspect to all the numbers, but no one wants to hear about the negatives. They're all about jerking you off and making you feel good. So we're just gonna tell you the positive shits. Like, here's my negative. Right? You're very negative. Here's my positive, right? It was number six, a strong sense of responsibility, artistic and nurturing disposition, community oriented, balanced, sympathy for others, a humanitarian, unselfish, love of home and domestic affairs, free renders services, free renders service to others. Negatives, self-righteousness, stubborn, dominates family and friends, melding, a meddling, egotistical, meddling kids, egotistical, susceptible to flattery. And outspoken. I am not susceptible to flattery. 
at all. I don't care how you can come you know up. You have with, nice eyes. You can come up to me wearing a sil- a, a, a satin glove. I thought that would work. You can come That's up good. to me. You can come up to me wearing <laughs> a silk satin glove with a, with the best lube on the planet, and like this is for your balls. So I'm be like, no, I'm good. Joshua, let's get your take on this before we go to break, please. For love of Christ, before I put my fist through his chest. Is Josh our cutaway? Yes. <laughs> I mean, it works. It really does work. Um, he gets final say before we go to break. Yeah, no, it's a good. I like it. Yeah, uh, are you asking me a question or are you asking? What yeah, I what think? is your 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 take so far of uh, the? And my balls. I I don't even know what the fuck to say anymore. He, I'm so fucked up by this man. Like, uh, what is your take so far on numerology? Before, because I don't want to ask if you that you know, I'll ask at the end of the episode. Um, I could definitely say it's interesting. It is interesting. It's it's a uh, another point of view that I can see, and it actually makes me want to look into it. Like, I'm not going to believe this shit, but I'll look well, into I mean, it. You're an atheist. It. You don't believe anything. So exactly. But I'll read into it and see, like, like huh. what aspects there are, you know, like where they're coming from. And, you know, just this read about it and actually As he's eating learn. Cake. Oh, OK, uh, just I'd be willing to learn more about it is my point. <laughs> All right. Good. Good. Uh, we're going to take another short break. Oh. Excuse me. <laughs> We're going to take that? another break. We'll be right back. Please go listen to some of our sponsors. Calling all cat lovers. Are you tired of your furry friend taking over your living space? Say hello to Cat Cave Co. Your one-stop shop for all things stylish cat furniture. Their modern designs seamlessly blend into your home decor while providing your cat with a cozy sanctuary of their own. Discover the perfect piece for your feline friend today using the link in the description and reclaim your space without compromising your style. Your cat will thank you. Hey, fellow truth seekers. Want to take your love for the Is This Real podcast to the next level? Check out our exclusive merchandise line designed for curious minds like yours in mind. From comfy tees and hoodies to stylish mugs and accessories, our merchandise is the best way for you to show your passion for unraveling the mysteries of the f***ing universe. Visit our online store at isthisrealpc.com and gear up to explore the universe in style. Don't just listen. Wear your curiosity with pride with Is This Real Podcast merchandise. Hey there, fellow truth seekers. Are you ready to dive deep into the mysteries of the universe? Look no further than IsIsRealPC.com, your one-stop destination for all things mysterious and unexplained. From captivating podcast episodes to thought-provoking articles, our website is packed with fascinating content that will leave you questioning reality. Visit IsIsRealPC.com today and join our community of curious minds as we explore the unknown together. Don't just wonder. Discover the truth today at IsIsRealPC.com. Welcome back as we uh, are continuing and ending our episode of numerology and this fascinating discussion of, well, Fascinate me. I'm not gonna lie. West it's actually it's actually and Roblox are fascinated by Anthony thinks it's complete bullshit. It's 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 interesting. I do. I also I mean yeah, it's interesting. It's, it's actually it's actually really interesting, just like because to a the to a to a degree, they are right as far as like numbers are just like they there there is like a it's like a universal or like kind of written language of, of the universe. Just like at the alphabet. I guess. No, 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 no. Because we changed, we changed letters in the alphabet and stuff like that. But like, letters, but, yeah. num- but numbers are like kind of given, Constance. like that, 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 yeah. So if you can like, what I mean, they have meaning. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Natural. Yeah. Math is natural. That's like, where I'm. That's where I'm. One, go- that's where I'm two, going with three. it. Three. Like we have one planet that we live on. That's it. We don't can't. We don't say. Well, we're on two different worlds. It's still meaning. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. But it's but, a natural but, meaning. That's, that's why. That's what. Universe. That's why it's more of like. A little bit interesting, just because like I know that math is a is a universal 
uh, language. language, language. So, yeah. so just because there's and now there's they're they're trying to put together certain sequences and patterns and shit like that as stuff like and give meaning behind this shit. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, to to an extent, I could sit there and say like, does numbers have meaning? I'd be like, it, it for me, it should have meaning. If it doesn't, because we could sit there and say like, again, it, everyone knows one, two. Three, no, four, but they're, but they're know? going back to what he like what he referred to on the be, on the beginning of the episode with the Nikola Tesla thing. There, when I when I was producing music and engineering stuff, there was a certain amount of truth to that. Yeah, there is. Like, there, there really is a certain amount of truth to that. Every amount of everything that I recorded and started at engineering at first was all dog shit. It's still dog shit. It's getting better. It's better dog shit. It's like our episodes is just real. Getting, it's getting better. It's like first, you know, the dog shit was all like mushy and shit. Now it's starting to form. You know what I'm saying? There's now base. It's solid. Now there's base. It's still mushy, but you there's still base. You add some fiber to the dog food. There's fiber to it. Point being is that when I was uh, engineering stuff, when I was fine tuning, when I was fine tuning uh, little um, little things, playing with, playing with the knobs, I did notice that things would come out clearer. When I would set them, it, if it was divisible by three, different frequencies, different frequencies, different frequencies, uh, like were, it, it, yeah, it just it just sounded it just sounded no, very I, very I, I very in, very interesting as far as like, huh, like he had some sort of truth to the whole three six nine meaning. But that's what I'm saying when when I turn around, it could around, be placebo effect too. When I, I, when I, I did, turn around, I, and I see something a little bit like clearer, this. But who knows? When when I see that. You know, just like language, just like letters, alphabets. There's different alphabets in the you know different languages in the world. There's different alphabets. There's different letters in the world. Everyone has one numer uh, numerical system. It's all one, two, three, four, five. No one has different things. So when I say that everybody goes by this n yes, numbers, yes and no. I'm talking. I'm going to argue with what you're saying though, because you're not accurate. How? For example, ancient Romans didn't have the number zero. They had and that's to... why they fell. No. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> hey, you! <laughs> like, the number zero, the the concept of nothing had to be invented. They they couldn't... They did, that's why you see stuff like... Well, I guarantee they didn't have negative numbers either. Well, that's why there's stuff like, in, like the letter X meant ten to them. Like, one zero. Because they didn't have a placeholder for zero. No, I, I they get didn't that. have that. So le the way we represent numbers has evolved over time. But where, where I'm going to agree with what he's going with is that the counting aspect of how yes. of, of how we of how we do things like yeah. with so numbers that's with numbers saying, yeah. that that is a constant. That's constant. Yeah, that's a yeah, constant. Yeah, yeah. That, so I, that, will, I will agree with you on that, that one. Point, yes. that point that means and then I'll agree with you on how how we how we started counting things. Yeah, yeah. But it, my my point is that is like again I don't fully agree with this. Not agree, but I don't fully believe in it. Stuff like that. But I could sit there and say like numbers f definitely should have a deeper value or a deeper meaning. If you want to believe in that, then obviously letters, because everyone knows these numbers. You know, everyone knows one, two, three, four, five. And so I in a weird way, I can understand them having a value other than just one, two, three, four, five. I think it's a little bit I think it's different to different way of saying that you can meet somebody who you don't speak in a language, you know, you don't share a common language. But you could still split a piece of like a loaf of bread evenly. Well, There's dude, all the, the time when when I sit there and like yeah, like you could see that you got more like, exactly perfect like example a mathematical um, understanding. Yeah, well, it's not yeah, even exactly. that. It's not even that, like perfect example. I'll sit there and I'll uh, I'll, I'll uh, count the French fries. Fuck you. No, I'll order I'll order food, and there's a bunch of people like in this area. There's not a lot of people who speak you know English that that deliver food. Like there's a lot of people. Who speak Spanish? Who deliver food? Uh -huh. And they'll ask me, "Do you speak well, uh, habla español?" And I go, "No." And they'll be like, uh, "No, no señor." They're like, "Oh, you need the code." And they're like, "Code." So I go, five, seven. Well, that's six, don't five, say seven. this on air. Don't say this no, on no, air. No, no, no. But I'm saying like, well, it's a different code every time. Like five, seven, nine. You know, I'll hold up my hand. They're like, "Oh, okay, yeah." Like that's what I'm saying. Like everyone knows what those numbers are. Yeah, there's, the, there's that. There's that universal understanding of that it's kind so, of kind of like music as well too. but that's like what you, i'm saying if the universe understands it 
You know, everyone in the universe should understand these things, and they have to have some type of meaning other than just numerical. No, I don't. I don't think that you're putting Maybe. arbitrary like things to like. Okay, number six means open and free, and blah 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 blah. blah. It's like, who put those? Who assigned those adjectives to that number? Find me that fuck. Because if if where are the scrolls that he wrote? Like it, you would have to find every single person. With, or the, that's how they would have to do it. Like you got to find everyone whose number is six or whatever. And then like, okay, let's look at you people. Oh, you all have these common traits. And these are not really, those are indistinguishable kind of traits. It's like, it's one thing to be like, Oh, this person is super generous. Uh, number three, always. They're, they never take the last piece of food on the plate. They're always donating to the poor. They're always giving like, that has to be number seven's a dick. Number seven will run over a puppy and not even think of it. Like there's got to be these a little bit more substance than just like, oh, caring and charismatic. Like it doesn't make sense. It's just it's arbitrary. For you, it doesn't make sense. To other people, it does. It's arbitrary shit for you though. That's what I'm saying. These are no. These are so these broad. Are self uh, afflicting things that you you do for yourself. You don't. Sit there and, and do it in fucking groups. No, but you have people like, what's your your destiny number is seven? Well, Why again, is seven? We'll sit there and we'll, they'll tell oh, like, fuck me. Well, no, it actually goes like, oh, your birthday's the 15th. Oh, my birthday's the 15th. You know, or, or the people will sit there and go, well, what's your, what's your astrology number? Uh, what's your astrology sign? Like, and they'll be like, oh, you're, you're definitely like dad. Yeah, those 16 people- year old girl. Like, we'll talk about this more when we hit astrology. I hate. Downright fucking loathe you astrology people because they'll sit there and go, oh, yeah, you're a Gemini. I can t- I feel it. The stars are telling me. Fuck you. Like the people who are like, oh, my God, your birthday's the 12th. I'm the seventh. I'm like. So do so so so. I'm gonna start jerking off in front of you right now. That's how excited I am. So 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 do we come to the consensus that we respect these numerology folks a little bit better than the no, astrology folks? No, I don't respect any I of them. I respect them a little bit better. I, I think I respect because them a little... there's there's never somebody that comes up and like, what's your what's your numer- numerology? What's your life number? path number? You want to yeah, know why? because it's stupid to say that out loud to another person. Like saying what's your sign isn't stupid. Yeah, that's stupid. But that for whatever reason, that's printed in the newspaper. Like, oh my god! I mean, in the newspaper, I, I crashed my car. I'm an asparagus. Like, like uh, they'll put up like today's lucky <laughs> numbers are. Like, if I wanted the lucky numbers, I'll, I'll fucking get a fortune cookie. Like, I don't need a. You fucking, believe in fortune cookies? No, I don't believe in fortune cookies either. I use the numbers it's as a lottery cute- tickets sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe in fortunes in cookies either, but it's a fun little thing to have at the end of the meal. I'll have my little fortune cookie, Why? and then I'll open Dude, it up. I don't eat. I don't even eat the fortune cookies. I like them. They taste weird. I, they don't mean shit, but it's like this nice little surprise at the end of the meal. Ah. Some nice little words of asper, you know, of affirmation. I want affirmation. the Chinese places that sit there and tell you bad things in the fortune cookie. It's like, oh, you open the cookie, lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> like son of a bitch. Like, my favorite is you open up like that wasn't. I didn't. Ex- I didn't expect the side of disappointment with my chat with my broccoli. You open up like that emotional damage. <laughs> that wasn't chicken. Like hey yo, but yeah. Now I uh, look. There's a lot of these these type of topics in this season. Yeah, All right, you're gonna be very upset. You need you need some medication. But that, arbitrary <laughs> bullshit. To you though, that's so, when I say it's it doesn't apply so, in the real world. To you, it doesn't. No! Show me an example where my life fucking number matters. Some people have examples. Give me an example. I've never met the person who has. So then don't but tell I me guarantee that, they, they do. I don't guarantee shit. It wouldn't be a thing if people didn't follow it. It's a thing because it's arbitrary and it's easy to you understand. You're arbitrary. Very much so. So. Either way, sh- I'm going to rub my balls tonight, go to sleep, go to work tomorrow, make my money. That's how life works. Having a lucky number six or some bullshit does not, doesn't help me. Unless that number constantly came up in the lottery and I was winning every other week. Then that would make sense. What is your final say on this, Mr. West? Um, it has it has piqued my interest a little bit. Not to, like, believe <laughs> in the shit, believe in the shit, but just to kind of, like... Not like look, Alchemy did. 
Yeah, no, 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 no. The, the alchemy shit, that was like, that was like, I was really trying to like, like make some gold type shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, like, yo, hold on, wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait, let me, let me actually, let me fuck around right, with this so shit. So you're telling quick. me I could take wood and make gold? You tell me fuck? I could, you tell me if I take salt, sulfur, mercury, and this, in this position and just do some shit and I can make some gold? Well, call me Isaac Newton. I'm about to start fucking it up. <laughs> but uh, in numerology, it's just, it's just interesting. It's just another interesting per, uh, belief perspective per, on per, yeah perspective of belief that is just interesting to like look into all right that's it roadblock uh well same thing for me same as eric it, it's really interesting to have another perspective of something that kind of feels like it's going towards religion but it's doing its own actual thing it's not culty enough yeah, yeah. it's not it, it, it doesn't, have that, it doesn't have that culty like when like, they idolizing say fig- on figure. their own websites, keep an open mind and use a little bit of skepticism. I'm okay with it. They're telling you right there. It's full of shit. You know, but it's fun. So are video games, so are playing with kittens, and so is riding roller coasters. So okay, kittens. so I'm let them play so with numerology. I'm so glad he said kittens. I'm like, no fucking way he just said that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So anything else to add for this week's episode? No. What do you think, babe? Yeah. Yes. Yes. She just shakes <laughs> yes. her head yes. Yes. <laughs> Roadblock, anything else to add? Uh, No. I mean, like we said before, it's interesting. Maybe dabble into it just to see what kind of numbers you get, see what the meanings are, and just learn about it, really, to be honest. There's nothing wrong with that. All right. All right. Next week, ladies and germs, we're talking about astrology. Oh, my God. (laughs) We're talking about astrology. And then the following week after that, we do have some fun. The following, we talk about Grimoire. Um. I'm over here thinking like fucking Grim Tales and shit like that. Uh, it's spell books. Spell books, Which, yeah. yeah. Witchy spell yeah, books, yeah. Grimoire, and I'll just go down. Grimoire, tarot cards the week after that. That's, oh all, that's also going to tie into astrology. Witchcraft. Uh-huh. Tarot cards play into all that. Wicca. That's all kind of the same shit. The one I know everybody's waiting for, sex magic. It's all the same shit. <laughs> Fortune tellers. And then we end the season with spiritual communication devices. I'll, I'll, I'll make something. I'll tell you something off air. Okay. Uh, you were about to make a Ouija board for us? Like, no, what no, the fuck? No, 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 no. It's off but, air, off air. All right, so we have nothing else for this week. We're all good for this week, guys. Negative. All good. Okay. That, that would be a positive. Positive. There you go. All right. Remember, everybody, uh, at the end of the video, you're going to see, uh, you're going to hear all of our social medias. Please go and listen to, all, uh, you know, to the rest of the episodes of follow all of our social media pages um and then we'll see you guys next week everybody say good night adios motherfuckers oh yeah to me good night everybody we'll catch you guys next week remember everybody question everything good night meaning that we look at the stars to try and tell us a fortune and or fate or something and that we're assuming that it matters and it doesn't hey there fellow truth seekers are you ready to dive deep into the mysteries of the universe look no further than isisraelpc.com your one-stop destination for all things mysterious and unexplained from captivating podcast episodes to thought-provoking articles our website is packed with fascinating content that will leave you questioning reality Visit isisrealpc.com today and join our community of curious minds as we explore the unknown together. Don't just wonder, discover the truth today at isisrealpc.com.